Well, hello. I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP on VirtualBox. You're going to click New. You're going to click Next, and you're going to type. Now I'm going to type Windows XP. Home. My oh, it does that because it's got ME at the end. Um, it's Home because yeah, it's a repair disk. Not really much, but I'll we'll give you. It. Uh, that much. You're going to click next after you've selected your battery RAM. 512 at least, I'd say. Go to new startup disk. Now, I did have to mess around get formatting my drive that I'll stick NTF to NTFS to get it to work. So you're going to click dynamically allocated, and I'm going to do 39. <laughs> that now will do. We want 79. I'm going to do. I'm just going to do 40.51 ok because it's not going to use it into, I need to I'm going to click next and I'm going to click create it's going to create your drive and then click create again and it's going to create it done here we have Windows XP Home, then we can click Start. You can change some settings if you wish, but you just on the main settings anyway. I'm going to click Next, and I've got mine in the D drive, but you're going to select your folder. So I'll click Next and Start. Oops, I keep banging in because I'm getting used to this mic because I haven't used one of these for ages. Here we go, you can hear this drive whirring away and you'll get the windows set up um, which means when this is loaded I'll, pu I'll unpause it right so we're nearly done with this I'm just loading the drivers in now I just say oh, I'm going to get really bored doing this because I can't do anything else because it's in a virtual PC uh, I'm using a repair disk for Fujitsu and this is a Dell computer but running it in say virtual box it won't moan at you if, if you say whatever manufacturer um, makes so if it's a repair disk because it's the only XP disk that I've got moment. and the problem is it's going to moan at me for serial keys because it doesn't give me a chance to put a serial key in on here normally because it's a repair disk and oh here we go, just pause it a sec right here we go, it's loaded and when you get this part you're going to select your partition, so mine's the 41 480 megabytes on partition space and we're going to center oops let's click on it first and we're going to, I'll recommend NTFS quick but you can do fast well not fa fast I'm on fast so see that's how quick it is it's 20% already and I'm going to pause so I can have a drink I will be back in about two minutes oh it's done so that was quick I'm just going to Check the drive, and it's going to copy files. And I'm just going to pause it. I'll be back. Oh, really quickly. I might miss the bit in a sec, so just don't worry because you'll just restart. And then when I notice that, <laughs> say bye. Well, I've just got a quick update before I pause again. It's normally the drivers and mainly the CAB Microsoft cabinet files that take the longest because. It it, a lot of time it has to e extract them so yeah so they'll, they'll stick at these cabinet dot cab files more than the other files definitely and let's just pause the video that's a couple of seconds for teeny little update after that oh, as you can see you got to explore and all those copying so you have to have internet as well and it's going pretty fast since then and I'll be back when I get the prompt for what's it to restart, so let's pause. Oh, all this copying and formatting depends on your hardware. And as you can see, about two less than a minute ago that I said last update, but it's going pretty fast. As you can see, if I get a large cab, you, you can understand that they're going to stick. Right, just to say, it'll also stick at, um STBF file at 93%. And we've got, right, we're done. 
Yes, yeah, so the computer is just going to initialize the installation files and it's going to save it and it's going to so and it's going to restart the computer. Well, it should be doing it. There yeah, we go. As you can see, it can use F8 now. We're not going to boot the CD, but keep it in just in case there's any drivers it just still needs to copy over. And for the first time, you'll be seeing the Windows XP boot screen, I think. Yep. Yeah. And if you've got Home Edition, it'll be green. If you've got Professional, it'll be blue. The, um, the installation process is basically the same, apart from mine doesn't have the MS Oob, I do not think it does anyway, and I do not think it has the, uh, what's it either? What's it called? So, don't worry about that. Now, you've just got this, and it's going to take, it won't take 39 minutes, but it's on my computer. Probably take about 15, 20 minutes, maybe even quicker, and I'll be back. And just as quickly said before, so that, is don't you get how that works, C how does it collect information before it installs it, because then it's just going to read, read overwrite all that information. So I'll be back in about, I'd say five minutes, because it normally does it at 32. Bye. Well that was really quick, it's still on 39. Um, so we're just going to accept the agreement. And it'll immediately jump to 37 without having the 38, which is very weird, and it's just going to install all the devices and the drivers and etc. So yeah. Um I've got something else to do really quickly. Bye. Oh just a quick update, not that much. But as you can see the drivers are almost halfway on the bar and it's gone to thirty six. Um Windows XP is is as we know and all the rest. And I'm gonna pause it now because I'm. If I go over 15 minutes, I'm pretty much stuck. Which I I think it, I think I can have up to 16, 17. But yes, yeah, so I'll just pause it and I'll be back. And the next pop up comes up. Bye. Another really quick update. As you can see, it's, it's jumping pretty quick on mine. It depends on your computer speed. And um, I'm gonna jump through the next bit pretty fast because of the time I've got left. Because I don't really want to go over. I'd say about 12 30 minutes, but yeah, bye. Oh, that was really quick. We're back again after about 10 seconds. You can write your name, so I'm going to put my name. I'll put it off the computer. What's next? So I'm just going to put soft compute XP VM. And next. Next. We'll get this coming up. Just gonna wait a bit. Ah, now you're gonna see it's fine. Um, you're in that time zone, you get to keep it. Uh, I'm in the UK, so I can change that. This will automatically change to 21st of Feb instead of Feb 21st. Okay. Now you're gonna get this, and it's gonna install your network back in the sec. Okay, the network bit's almost done, and it's on 30 minutes. Should be on yours because it doesn't go at exact time because it always jumps to 37 from 39. It never does. Oh, that was really quick. It's just copying a couple more files, and I have about 26 minutes left, and my disk drive is churning away. I was very surprising about the speed because a lot of XP computers that have that on and don't have XP installed they install much slower. And this is running off a disk drive, and it's much faster from running off an ISO. But yep, right on the completing it. Right, sorry, I just started talking really fast then. Um, and the completing installation, and I'll be back in about two, maybe less minutes. I was just say these times, all just these times, are not for you because I'm pausing it, which basically what I'm, yeah. So you'll just hear me jump to random places in the video jump. Um, well, it looks like it's nearly finished, and it's going to install the start menu items. And normally it's up to 15 by now, but oh well, because it's not going to take that long. I'll be back in a sec. Not a sec. I'll be back. Well, when this is finished, and I've unpaused it, so but yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's nine. Sorry if I keep, oh, I keep doing it. Keep talking really fast, but yeah, it's nineteen now. <laughs> Quick update. Internet Explorer six is very safe and fast and flexible. But it was, and 
2001, 2002, 2003, but it's not anymore because Microsoft hate it and I recommend that you visit ie6countdown.com I think. Okay, quick update, it's going to register components then. So, yep. Oh yeah, and quickly, your disk drive, well, yes, your disk drive is just going to stop churning about now. Wait, this this is very good today, it's actually the best amount of time because I've been sitting here for actually about 15, 16 minutes now. So, back in the Oh, when I unpause it. Hmm. Right, right. Another quick update. It's gonna start saving the settings, and it'll be about nine minutes left. Another five-second update. Uh, yeah, another five-second update. It's just seven seconds now, and it's halfway through. Another five-second update. Yes, another five-second update. Um, I know it's getting really annoying. Uh, just got the enjoy yourself. Very good. Sorry, I keep accidentally pressing the pause button. Right, we've got one minute left, so yeah, I'll be back after it's restarted, and it was less than one minute because it's doing something like that. And I'll be back, and your computer will restart now. You're not going to want to boot from CD, and you're just going to let XP run through its thing and do what it's doing. Make sure your disk is still in, though, so it's um it can still read anything if it needs to. For example, drivers, because yeah, and that is not very good. It's goldy green. Oh, oh crap. Sorry for that. No. Yes, I know it's home edition. And it's, you're going to get the Windows XP Please Wait screen now. And I'm running low on time. Three, ooh, less than three minutes now. So I'm just going to quickly pause. And I'll come back as soon as the pop-up comes up. So you get the Please Wait screen. There we go. Here's our pause. So you're just going to press OK. And we're just going to press OK again. I'm going to press pause and you'll get this and I'll just press And yes, you just will stop churning. Oh, and here we go again, you get in a pop-up. Oh, and I have got the oob, which was surprising. And you can hear the noise, probably. Sorry about that. Sorry about the noise. One sec, really quick. We'll press next. But you'll you'll get the lovely XP oob, and it's going to check connect to the internet. And I'm just, right here we go. Yeah, what was next? No, because I've already got a hotmail. Then you're just going to quickly add your name. I do the other names and you're just gonna click on next really quickly and then click finish. And you're gonna get the Windows XP welcome screen. Yay! You've done it. You've got through the long winded installation process. It took me 30 minutes, even though it didn't actually because it took me longer than that, but and you get that beautiful XP startup sound and yes I turn the microphone up for the specific reason of the XP sound. So I'm going to put my headphones back in. And I'm going to pause until the desktop pops up. Well, that wasn't a very long pause, but yeah, here's the desktop. And you're going to get you can. And if you don't get, what's it? Just you're just going to click on install guest editions, and you're going to go through the installation process for that. And I'm guessing, yeah. Well, you can install the guest editions, but I'm not going to. Well, I might do. But I'm not going to do it while I'm recording this because I'm not going to run the time. Just in case you haven't got an account, you can count one, so I say I'll just call one. But. No, we'll call him Bob. And click next. I'm going to use an image, but I recommend it limited. And here we go. I'll probably do another version for. Not all this. No, I'm going to install this additions. So I'll see ya. Bye. Well, I'm back, so I just went and enabled the 15 minutes. I'm just going to quickly show you how to install VirtualBox Editions. If it doesn't pop up, you're going to go to My Computer. And you get this command, and you're probably, you're probably in the D drive. Click Devices, and install Guest Editions. You may need to refresh this a couple of times. Then I'm going to add the address bar. There we go. Okay, we need to refresh it again, probably. Or we can just click CD. Oh, here we go. 
and now you've got pilot so what we're going to do is we're going to click next next I'll activate it later direct 3d support you can if you want but you don't have to do on the virtual uh, if you're not a virtual you can just do it because basically the same as a standard XP install so you're just going to click continue anyway if you get this because it's because it's so it's the original version of XP and it it will run on it but it officially it wants SP1 and it's got no service back you might get a screen problem because of video drivers do you want to install and run you can do that later because it's Windows Update and you'll get this and just continue again because it's installing multiple drivers I mean, so we, then we're going to click finish and it's going to reboot the computer and I'm going to take my disk out the drive if it's still up here uh, yes it's not in there because I've installed the guest editions you get the guest editions continuing to do what it's doing its job and I'll just quickly pause it oh here we go, no point pausing it now and then you'll go and it'll come with the XP login now in a sec it's going to switch to full screen notice that the actual full screen because when, once we've logged in it's going to go to the automatic full screen which is very good if you want to record something right here we go this won't work because oh, there's that bob account I showed you to me so you're just going to click on your username and it's going to load it's going to load all the jobs and then as you noticed it flickered to the screen size now if you keep changing different screens and then you come back to a wide screen after being on a non wide screen the recycle bin is going to be I'll see it, about there so you can either drag it back down here or drag it back up there your choice oh one, one sec oh, now in the next page you just need to basically check for updates I'm just going to run with the next record which version I'll see if I'm, no, no SP1 just standard service back and I'll just tell you if we've got which version of media player I've got yeah, ooh proof it's the non SP because you get Windows Media Player 9 if you get the service pack of course you can edit it so and you can go into your Internet Explorer it's 6 but you can install them in any browser you'll get that because they don't know they will of course delete that you can go on i7 so then you're just going to go to make sure your internet so we're just going to go bing and yep yeah, and we're just going to go to microsoft dot com we got a couple of these you're just going to go to microsoft dot com slash your country slash windows xp and make sure yeah that didn't work but make sure this works as well and uh, i recommend downloading Google, not Google, Opera, or Google Chrome, I've now got the hiccups, and um, yeah, bye.